Hi guys, and welcome back to the Fungi Files. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a peek at all of our Ziploc tech bags that we have inoculated over the past few weeks, show the first PIM formations on the King Oysters, the Primordia Foundation building on the Shiitakes, as well as take a look at our Lion's Mane that we inoculated previously. And here's our setup. I've created a small humidity chamber out of an old Tupperware container with four holes for fresh air exchange, exactly how you'd set up one of these containers for cordyceps grows. If we pop the lid, we can take a look inside and you should be able to see that we are getting a huge primordial lump of this king oyster. I'm only keeping them in this fruiting chamber until they really get a good pin set on them, and then I'm gonna move them back out to fresh air. This is perfect for encouraging that pin formation. Once the pins are fully formed, I'll move this bag to open air to continue the growth without misting them directly to avoid blotch. Next up, we can take a peek at the lion's mane mycelium starting to colonize this bag. It is very thin and wispy, but it is all across the surface, which is looking great. It's crucial to monitor moisture levels without oversaturating this to make sure the mycelium stays healthy as it spreads throughout this bag. And next up is our shiitake. As you can see, there is nice primordial lumps forming all over this bag. As this bag colonizes, it will slowly turn brown, and then we will soon start to see the pins. When that mycelium turns brown, it's a key indication that it's ready to start pinning and fruiting. For a change, I'm going to be inoculating some Piapino and Lion's Mane into smaller sandwich size Ziploc bags for maximizing space and our yield. We're going to start with this fully colonized Piapino by breaking it up and splitting half of it into our first Ziploc and the other half of the grain into the second. With about half of this grain in the bag, I'm going to go ahead and add some unsupplemented hardwood substrate. For faster colonization, I will be mixing these bags at about a one to two or maybe one to 1.5 ratio. And with the bag loaded up, I'm going to go ahead and start thoroughly mixing everything. And with this fairly evenly mixed, we're gonna go ahead and just as always, compress it, put a slit with micro pore tape. Let's break up the other half of this grain and get it mixed in.
And with both of these Piapino successfully inoculated, we're going to go ahead and put them on the shelf. And with our hands and our knife sterilized again, we can go ahead and break up this lion's mane, which has... I've definitely let this lion's mane go too long. Look at all those little teeth. Such a cool mycelium. Let's break it up and spawn it to bulk. With about half of the lion's main grain in there, let's go and fill it the rest of the way with wood substrate. And with our lines been finished, we can move it all to incubation. And now with all of our Ziploc bags inoculated and put on the shelf to incubate over the next few weeks, we can monitor them and wait for some mycelium growth. Thanks for following me along with this Ziploc mushroom cultivation journey. Each one is progressing well, and I'm excited to see what these will look like in the upcoming day with our king oysters, our shiitake, and our lion's mane. With our freshly inoculated bags, while I dial in the process of growing in these bags, I figured that these small ones would be good to use, as well as that if they work, they will make good gifts to hand out for people who are wanting to grow them on their own countertop. Be sure to check out the playlist for more mushroom cultivation guides. Thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you next time.